Hi folks, Brother Neuro, Dick Coughlin here. Now, let me just make this perfectly clear. This is not the first time I've had to record this fucking video. I actually recorded this yesterday. I sat there, sat, did all the response. Like as most of my responses, it was 17 hours longer than it normally is. I've got all the bit, all the little video. I've recorded it on my iPhone, and I've put I put all the fucking video, transferred them all over, downloaded them all, rendered them all, got them all ready, got all the other bits and pieces ready, and then I went to put them in edit, through the editing, and all of the sound was fucked. All of it, and it wasn't just fucked. It hasn't been fucked. The file. It was the microphone the whole time. It was. But it was like that, the whole, and so, so I just, you know, and so I thought, I can't record this again, I can't, I just can't, I don't do two takes in one day, right, that's not my style, but I'm going to record this again, this might not have the same level of editing that it was going to, because, because, you know what, fuck it, right, this has got a short shelf life, and I'm just going to go on with it, now before I carry on, I would like to say thank you for coming here, hope you enjoy the show, if you're new here, subscribe, if you like the video, hit a like, if you didn't, hit a dislike, it's all good, it's all engagement, no one gives a shit anymore, post a comment calling me a cuck, I don't give a fucking shit, now, and then, if you really enjoy my content, it would mean a lot more to me, if you go support me on Patreon, because over the next couple of days, I'm going to be uploading a lot of content, that you will only be able to see if you support me on Patreon, you can do that for as little as one dollar. I know, aren't you lucky? Anyway, let's move on with this video, shall we? This might seem like a weird thing. I wasn't even sure whether I was going to make a video out of this, but the other night I'm on Twitter and I see this post. It was there by a user, uh, a guy called Mouthy Infidel. Now, some of you may have heard of Mouthy Infidel before. I hadn't. This was my first encounter, and boy, talk about making a first impression. If his videos, in general, are as bad as this, as the fucking thing that I read and I'm about to read to you now, then quite frankly, the best thing you could do for any cause you care about is shut the fuck up. Now, the argument that Mouthy Infidel posted was about abortion. This is... I, I knew, the second I read it, I wasn't even, I didn't even finish reading it, and I knew, I said, this is the single worst argument, either for or against abortion, I have ever fucking read. Right? I have been, de and this is an issue that those of you who follow me, those of you who've been following me for a while will know, this is an issue very close to my heart that I've had a lot of dealings with. If Mouthy Infidel concedes that abortion should be legal, but then prefaces it with a load of reasons why it is immoral and wrong. All of them are shit, is the only way to put it. Now, I don't care. I've never seen any of Mouthy Infidel's videos before. If this is a good sort of measurement of, or, or good barometer for the amount of stock he puts in for his research standards and for his just general, and, and for his just ability to form one paragraph that doesn't contradict itself, then you know what? I don't want to, I don't want him to, I, like I said, I would rather he just shut the fuck up. And that's a problem. It's, oh, FYI. This is not a refutation of any point, but it is worth mentioning. Mouthy Infidel, I don't know if you saw, did you see Lauren Southern was in your replies to that argument defending you? I know, good for you, buddy. That must make you feel fucking good, mustn't it? And also, can you please, please, don't even try to do... I saw this, because even though you, I was blocked, I did see the one tweet you made afterwards talking about how all of these people who I've been, you know, who, you know, I've been good with and who I've, you know, stood up, stood, stood by and who I've defended, now they're all coming out of the woodwork to, to, to have a go at me and dogpile to get clout. Clout? What do you mean clout? Dude, you have 6,000 subscribers. That ain't clout. On, that might be clout in 2006, right? It ain't clout now, okay? Get over yourself, you pretentious bastard. You, who do you think you are, right? And you might not even see this argument. Do you know what? I don't care. You're not going to listen to it because you did also post earlier. I did not think that this argument was going to be so controversial. And that is the first time you've posted something that I've seen that I agree with. You're right. You didn't think. So, that being said, folks, all of that out of the way, shall we just crack on? There are three points to this argument, but don't think for one second that this is going to be an easy ride or a quick one. Moving on. 
It starts off Mouthy Infidel saying, I actually don't see how my position is controversial. No, you don't, do you? It's funny that, isn't it? It's funny how you, the person who holds this view, and therefore, you know, you know, realistically speaking, you, you nobody really holds any position or any point of view or opinion on anything unless they believe that that is the most sound and reasonable position, don't they? You know, you never hear anybody say, oh, I'll tell you what, I, I, you want to hear my opinion on that? It's fucking mental. Well, I think, obviously, you don't see, you didn't see then, but, you know, you can see clearly now the rain has gone. Number one, I place moral value. Stop. Morality is going to play some part in any argument. But when you're talking about issues like this, if you're going to argue about anything regarding a law, regarding, you know, regarding legislation, rules, stuff like that, morality really shouldn't be the first place you go to because you aren't going to convince anyone based purely on that. You know, you need to prove the law is the practicality of it data facts statistics numbers irref you need you need hard evidence proof that your this this position if this happens then the this this will have a much more better a better a more positive effect you place your moral value let me just tell you where i place it mate i place your moral value right in a little cardboard roll next to my toilet because I'm going to wipe my fucking ass with it. I place moral value on any beings who either have current sentience, I think you mean who currently have sentience, nitpick, right? then he throws a curveball, or who have had sentience in the past, and who, and who have the potential to have sentience in the future. Now, the first one, and this third one, they make sense. But then you have people who have had, you know, be beings, sorry, not, not people, beings. Beings who have had sentience in the past. So presumably now they don't. I, I, unless the zombie apocalypse is going to happen, and at which point it'll be nice to know that you value zombies in that case. But what you're referring to there, it sounds to me like you're referring to de things that are dead. So an so an egg in a an egg in an ovary that was literally fertilized fertilized one second ago, me, and a two thousand year old you know uh, but femur bone, you know that's almost petrified. These three things in your mind all have moral value placed on them. Why would you place moral value on things that had sentience? What would be the fucking point? You know, anything that could be sentient, has been sentient, and is sentient, those things are, you know, moral value. Therefore, killing a fetus which has sentience, parentheses, which I think there's reason to believe occurs somewhere around the seven to eight week mark, is immoral. This was the point of the biggest contention of all the you know the one thing that everyone brought up in the replies was the seven to eight. you know it was so fucking you know people got so distracted by that they forgot the fact that you put moral value on fucking zombies one one of my girlfriends in 2006 had an abortion uh she was at i think she was at 12 weeks and i saw it up close right I sat there, I sat there singing Cat Stevens to her, I didn't really, but I sat there, you know, and I saw, I, I know, so I know what one of those, what a 12 week fetus looks like. If you think that motherfucking thing's got sentience, mate, it ain't got shit. It looks like a blob of tomato ketchup that's fallen in some KY jelly. It is not, it hasn't got anything. It hasn't got a, it hasn't got a brain, it hasn't got eyes, it hasn't got hands, it hasn't got a face. It ain't got shit, hasn't got an ass crack, nothing. So I struggle to believe, but, you know, hey, you said there's reason to believe. And the reason to believe was, and then you linked to a study. This is, I mean, I don't even know what to, what to begin. The, the idea that the very notion that you claiming that this, what you linked here, you think that this offers you enough reason to believe sentience occurs at the seven to eight week mark. You linked to a PDF document, a case report, and it's part of some other book. I don't even know what it's called. But um, the, the case report, the study here is called 
um, electroencephalography. It took me most of the preparation of this video to fucking pronounce that. En electroencephalography of the fetus. There are two geezers' names at the bottom here, Winslow J. Borkowski, M.D., and Richard L. Bernstein, M.D. Mm. Now, given what Mouthy Infidel claims this study is able to prove, or what it's going to prove, or what it at least offers you reason to possibly consider it as an option, um, you would think there are certain things that you should probably expect. They might not be, they're not enough in and of themselves for you to dismiss or refute anything but they are nevertheless relevant you would think this would be quite a you know quite a large document no it's five pages long and that's being generous because the, one of those pages is just like is 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 just linking uh, is just like sources and references so it's actually about four three and a half pages long second point this study was conducted and this uh, and published here in 1950 fucking five this is nearly as old as my fucking dad it's nearly 70 pissing years old bernie sanders would have been in short trousers when this fucking thing was being conducted 70 years old that's older that's a lot older than the bell curve right now again you might say oh that doesn't dis dis dismiss it no but you would think that someone but, you know since then would have thought hmm you know let's have a go let's have a look at this one shall we but let's forget all of that. I think it's reasonable to suggest that if you're going to make the claim that this, that this, this needs to be valid, you know, what would you consider? Let me ask you, think for a second. What would you consider a, a, you know, a reasonable sample size in terms of the amount of, t the, the number of fetuses they test? I think you should, you know, it's going to be a lot, isn't it? I mean, you've got to have a lot of, of, of samples for you know to for something like this two <laughs> two is what they got they had two fetuses and this happened in 1955 that's it that's all you've got you think that proves that senti that fetuses are sentient at the seven to eight week mark and this is where i'm going to make an assumption regarding mouth the infidel i don't know this to be true but i've got a hunch that this is not the kind of document that you just happen to come across this a document this old this fucking completely and utterly this obscure this small you have gone out and found this because you wanted to because you want to prove your point to be true so you've gone out and you have found a document that you feel or a study that you feel best supports your case it doesn't it doesn't mention the word sentience in there. And even if it did, even if it did, you think that a 70 year old, that 70 years ago, two fetuses were found to have sentiences. And that's it. That is enough to assume all the rest, is it? That is your reason to believe. You think that I should, I should even entertain this. I mean, that is an embarrassing. That is truly embarrassing. You should be fucking you know, you want to talk about cringe. You want to talk about, you know, you want to talk about sort of feeling a bit oh, and awkward and embarrassed. This is a fucking embarrassment, my friend. You should be fucking, I hope one day you are, if you're not now. But let me tell you this, if I, if I was, if I'd made a video and I had made a claim as bold as the one you just made, and that was the study I linked, I'm telling you now, I deserve to get rinsed out for it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't fuck, if that was the best I could find, I would stop and say, maybe, just maybe, my position is a bit untenable. It, now he moves on to attacking you, who, who, who would dare to disagree with them. If you disagree with this claim, the claim that killing a fetus which has sentience after four and a half minutes uh, is immoral, if you disagree with this claim, you're going to have to bite the bullet on some pretty harsh reductios. Oh, I've got some harsh reductios you can bite on some, babe. That's the incorrect usage of the phrase, bite the bullet. Let's, shall, we, shall we hear his reductios that he's, he's, he insists that we have to accept? For example, if you say killing a sentient fetus isn't wrong because they aren't intelligent or whatever, stop.
What do you... What? What is that? It's the word whatever. What's that doing in a fucking... De- you're, you're supposed to be rep- you're supposed to be arguing against a position that the, that the people who disagree with you hold. I have never now first off I've never heard anyone say that intelligence has got any factor in in regarding whether or not someone should be it should be okay to terminate a sentient life. I've never heard that once. Why would you make the argument regarding a fetus about intelligence? But it's the whatever part. You don't put whatever. What does that encount? What does that cover? Doesn't whatever, doesn't, I mean, the things, if you had a Venn diagram of, like, one circle is every single thing in the known universe ever, and the other one is whatever, it's a circle, isn't it? You, you make videos criticising Ben Shapiro, and, and of course you should do, and all these other people. But you know what? When Ben Shapiro makes a crap argument against people he disagrees with, at least he has the fucking decency to put some effort in and make a fucking straw man. He creates some fantastical fucking bullshit little fucking argument that no one has ever made, even if they'd had their brains removed. There's no record of that. You can't even be bothered to do that. You just put intelligent or whatever. And to me, that is an incredibly dismissive and disrespectful way to address the people who you're trying to convince. So if you want to kill it for like intelligent or whatever, you have to accept that your view entails that it's okay to kill babies. I have to accept this, folks. I have to accept that it's okay to kill babies. Fine, okay, let me say that. Fine, it's okay to kill babies, is it? Who the fuck are you telling me what I have to fucking, right? I don't fucking accept, well I reject every single point you have made up into that and the one point you made that had any scientific basis whatsoever and then the reductios you draw away from that and I reject your usage of the phrase bite the bullet, not that that's relevant but fuck you for not fucking getting it right. Now he might say it's okay to kill babies He might say that if you're accepting this, it's okay to kill babies. Let's hold on that point, shall we? Let's look at, let's go on to point number two. Now I need you to do something. It's something that clearly Mouthy Infidel couldn't be bothered to do, which is remember, try and remember everything that he said in the previous set. You know, I know it was a lot of it and it's horseshit, but let's, starting right off the bat. Number two, point two. Now, you don't need to write now. Killing a sentient being can be justified by certain circumstances. Uh, no, 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 excuse me, excuse me. I refer you, I would like to cite a reference here. Uh, I, I believe the reference is your own fucking words that you typed out what must literally be several seconds after this one. Um, I place moral value on any beings who either have current, who have currently have sentience, had sentience, or who have the potential to have sentience. Therefore, killing a fetus which has sentience is immoral. If you're saying that... Now, you said beings, though. You said you place moral value on beings, right? We're talking about a fetus, but you said being. You said, therefore, killing a fetus which has sentience is wrong. And it's wrong because you place moral value on it. So if you place moral value on anything that has, has had or will have sentience, and therefore that makes it wrong, then I'm a af- then that I'm afraid means that you cannot sit there when you say killing a sentient being can be justified. Well, you just said that if we disagree with your premise that it's wrong to kill a fetus that's sentient, we therefore must bite the bullet, and we have to concede that that in- that the reduct the reductios from that include it's okay to kill babies. So what you have just opened with that, and I'm going to apply your standards to your fucking words. Killing a sentient being can be justified in certain circumstances. What you're saying is killing a baby can be justified in certain circumstances. Right now, and before you start thinking he's going a bit soft, and maybe his position. Is a little bit more modern. No, no, no. Next sentence. But I don't think... That's the, that's a good... That's true. But I don't think any circumstance in general abortion cases make it morally okay to kill the fetus. I don't think any circumstances. Why are you making these arguments? Why should I or anyone else give a shit? <clears throat> what is the point in you telling it? Well, I don't think. Who cares what you fucking think? Is this an issue you've dealt with? 
Have you fucking looked up every single abortion case ever? Have you looked up every single circumstance ever? Do you have fucking second one in terms of experience or personal fucking understanding of it? No, you don't. You just think. Because if you did, if you understood anything about this issue, if you understood what it's actually like, what people who go through it actually go through, right? if you did that, then maybe you wouldn't say such stupid fucking things as, I place value, a moral value, on things that used to be sentient. Oh, and I should really bring this up. Now, this wasn't brought up by him, but this is uh, something that I know he has said um, in, uh, and I've, like I said, I've had people who are more familiar with his work and are in, even in his Discord server. And uh, it's worth bringing it up because it's worth mentioning because he's all talking about sentient beings here. Um, and some people I saw in the uh, replies were asking uh, whether or not Mouthy Infidel was vegan or vegetarian. Uh, well, let me just tell you, for, just to clarify, he isn't. Not only is he not, but he has... He has defended his uh, choice to eat meat purely based on utilitarian, on his utilitarian values. He pay, that's it. So that's the moral value. Mouthy infidel sits there placing on on sentient beings who have the capacity to feel. That's the moral value he places on. As you know, I suppose the moral value there is is like I'm hungry. He's made of beef. You know. Or, you know, do you want to adjust that bit where you said sentient beings? Because, you know, beings includes animals. If you're going to say that, uh, you know, me saying it's okay to kill a sentient fetus is the same as saying it's okay to kill babies, and you're talking about sentient beings and you're talking about it in this generalised term, then surely the fact that you choose to eat meat must mean that you are okay with killing and eating babies. Farming babies just so you can... Human veal. Just so you can have a sandwich. Now, having now already conceded that killing sentient being can be justified, but saying that none of those justifications uh, fall under the circumstances that abortion that any abortion ever has done, uh, he th uh, he then says people bring up the violinist argument. Now, I'm not going to get into the violinist argument. I can't be bothered to explain it. This video is going to be long enough. Suffice to say, the violinist argument is an argument that makes a you know it's a thought experiment uh, that attempts to sort of make the case for abortion. Uh, by making a comparison, but uh, you know, but that doesn't really matter. He rejects the argument, and instead he changes the argument, and he basically comes to the conclusion um, that that if you choose to have sex, if if a man or a woman have sex, uh, everything's you know, it's all proper and above board. But they choose to have sex, knowing the risks that they could get pregnant. If she gets pregnant, then apparently uh, it would it's it's that is immoral. Then that is, you know, it's immoral. Like it, it doesn't care. Her autonomy is therefore default. No, no, for why? For no reason other than the fact she chose to have sex for the purposes of recreation. That is your standard. So if you fuck up, if you fuck for enjoyment and get pregnant, and you can sit there and say, well, they know the risk, but you are acting on the assumption that there is no risk at any point if you ever have sex. Now you could even, I mean, let's say. Let's say they use all the, take all the precautions. You know, it, the guy might have a condom on. Fuck it, condoms break. It's statistically possible, right? Fucking, you know, vasect the guy might have a vasectomy. Vasectomies can reverse. It's fucking statistically possible. The woman might be on the pill. The, it might not fucking work. It's statistically possible. Let's just fucking join them all up, shall we? So the guy has a vasectomy, wears a condom, and he's fucking a woman who's taking, who's on the pill, and all of them fail. All of them fail, right? Now, the odds, I understand, I know, they are remarkably small. But the fact is, the risk is still there. So even if someone, you know, even if a couple have sex for purely to enjoy themselves, like, what a bizarre concept. And they have, and if, even if they take all those precautions, and all of them, through no fault of their own, fail all at once, her autonomy is default, is defunct. It is no, it is no longer valid. That's that's the fucking conclusion he comes to. I have got to accept the sentience, the sentience of a eight-week-old fetus based on your bullshit study, and then you compare that to killing babies. But it's okay for you to just completely disregard the 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 actual the autonomy of the of the woman who's who's been, who's now pregnant.
And if that wasn't enough, just so he's sure, just to make sure he's not, he's not a just to show you he's not a complete monster. He ends point two by saying, if you were raped or in some way coerced, which led to pregnancy, doesn't actually explain what he means by in some way coerced, or I don't even know how you would prove that. I mean, generally speaking, the way or the manner in which a woman got pregnant is filed under none of your fucking business, mate. But if you were raped, or in some way coerced, or led to pregnancy, it probably is not moral to terminate the fetus. You know, recently, uh, in fact, at the turn of the year, for the last six months this year, um, abortion was legalised in Argentina. For the first, up until now, it's been illegal, right? Very, very, uh, and if you want to know how, right? In the last couple of years, two years in Argentina, there have been two cases, very high profile cases, look them up, one involving a 12 year old girl, one involving a 10 year old girl, both of whom were preg became pregnant after they were raped, one by their grandfather, another by their father. They were forced by the legal system to carry those pregnancies to term and to give and to give birth to the girl who was fucked, the ten-year-old girl who was fucked by her own father gave birth to twins. Hey, double trouble, right? There's your fucking mo That's where your moral fucking value has got you. There's now a ten-year-old who's got. There's a ten-year-old who had to carry a preg two two fucking babies. Two fucking preg two kids in her stomach, give birth to them, knowing that those babies were not only her children, she was now a mother, and she had two new siblings. But yeah, if you raped, it's probably wrong to have had an abortion. That's definitely a much, I mean, that's definitely, a, I'm pretty sure that is a much more preferable outcome. Probably. So finally, folks... We move on to point number three, and this is clearly the point where he thought, well, any controversy or objection to anything I've said before will be wrapped up in this, because in this bit, I'm going to make everything okay. And, he, and not only do you not make everything okay, not only do you not in any way justify or, 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 or make or any points you've made so far moot, what you do is actually even worse. You make things worse and, well, I'll just read it. Number three, we shouldn't make abortion illegal. So, you bringing all that shit up, complete waste of time. Because the state can't really disaggregate cases where there was some level of coercion involved. Whether that be social, economic, etc. I would really like you to clarify that. Clarify, what do you mean social or economic and etc? What's the etc? What do you mean? And if all this time you've sat here, you've you've sat here with this also with this idea that, yeah, but I mean, there's no way they're ever going to be able to figure it out or work it out. It's because it's none of your fucking business, mate. Also, I'm uncomfortable punishing women for getting an abortion when they probably didn't view the fetus as having moral worth. Stand up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for the fucking great Gatsby of morality over here. I'm uncomfortable punishing women for... Are you? Wow! You're uncomfortable. You are uncomfortable. Just think about that for a second. You think... I give a shit. What do you want? A fucking biscuit? Because I'm un You should be fucking uncomfortable. That should be the default position. You shouldn't throw it in there, like, as if to go, uh, sort of go, yes, yeah, see, look at uh, aren't I great? Honestly. But now you might think, well, hold on, Rich. That's fair enough, isn't it? He suggests, he's saying that his morality is not absolute. Well, it fucking was earlier when he was telling us that the morality that he had regarding the sentient fetus, a sentient fetus meant that we had to bite the bullet regarding a fucking... that it's the same as killing babies whilst he sits there eating on his fucking dead baby, dead baby cow burger. 
and conceding that actually killing you know killing sentient life form is not all we've got you know, I mean, I don't need to go over... Do I need to go over everything? Do I need to go over every... You know, that fucking... This entire fucking argument is like that scene in The Simpsons where where um, fucking Sideshow Bob keeps walking into a fucking rake. Right? You're the Sisyphus of contradictions, mate. Now, you might think, though, that, you know... Hold on, he's not... But here he's conceding that, you know, morality is subjective. But listen to the reason why. Listen to his... Re his re the way the reason he thinks that these women don't view the fetus as having any moral worth when they probably didn't view the fetus probably yeah didn't view the fetus as having moral worth due to cultural biases or lack of ethical introspection Fucking wow. He isn't saying that he's uncomfortable punishing them because he's he's having a sort of moment of humility where he's conceding that his morality should not be the basis for whether or not we determine the the, the right or the wrong or the legal or illegal or whatever of any single of any particular act. No, the reason these the reason women do not the reason all these people who have having abortions or the reason these people support them is because they don't view a fetus of having moral worth because cultural biases and lack of ethical introspection. You have been brainwashed by the by the propaganda of your country, but mainly you have just not you really just haven't sat down. I you know it's not your fault. You you haven't sat down and thought about it as much as I have. Aren't you a teenager? Aren't you like 18, 19, 20? What the fucking hell do you do? What you you think you can sit there and tell anybody that the reason they the only reason they support abortion is because they haven't thought about it as much as you? And this argument is supposed to prove that you are a thoughtful person? It's also not clear that outlawing abortion actually reduces the number of abortions. Actually, it is. The data's in on that one. But again, again, I wouldn't expect you to fucking go and have a look at that. Go and look up. Go and look up. There's this... You see, if you look at the number of abortions that are happening, right, in America, and there's this there's this point where this, there's this very definitive point where it peaks, right, and then suddenly it starts declining. And you'll notice that correlation, causation, fallacy notwithstanding, that that point is where Roe v. Wade was brought into law. Roe v. Wade was passed, and every fucking single bastard year since, pretty much give or take, near as makes no difference, abortion has gone down. That is a fact. That's provable with numbers, not some fucking dog shit piece of crap PDF document that's been written on the back of a cigarette packet in a dead language <laughs> when they carried out an experiment on one thing, right? No, it's not it's not the it's not up to your fucking criteria. I mean you could have looked that up. It's not clear. No, it is. And you might again for anyone and I want everyone to realise this. I've seen people making apology make, trying to make trying to make excuses for this. I've seen people sitting there trying to make excuses, saying, look, he, you know, he's, he, he doesn't want to make it criminalised. No, he does. He doesn't want to criminalise it. No, he wants to do the, he wants to do something that's basically just as worse, which is stigmatise, degrade, demean, look down his fucking nose and sneer at the people who do this and label them as immoral. And look and, and and to try to cre and add to the already substantial social stigma that carry that abortion carries because that's and and the fact that I have to explain this to people who claim to be socially woke you're you know you're 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 socialists and you you care about social issues you understand the nuances of this you should understand that it's not as comp it's as simple it's a little bit more complex than illegal or legal. It doesn't work that way. Just because something is legal does not mean that everyone's okay with it. And it doesn't mean that that stigma, that awkwardness and that pressure 
cannot influence people. Do you know how much fucking people in power love the idea of being able to pass laws that make it look like everything's fair? We've passed all these laws. You know, you hear you hear racists making this argument the whole time. They'll say, well, look in America, all of the law, we've got equality, all of the laws, you know, it's misogynists make it. Look, under the law, women are equal to men, blah, blah, blah. But does that tell the full story? Right, so don't you dare come with me with this fucking, he doesn't want to criminalise it. I don't care. He wants to make people, he doesn't want you to be criminals. He just wants you to feel like a worthless sack of shit. Because he's got no concept of what actually, what people go through. He's got no idea. And you don't, Mouthy. You don't have a fucking clue. And I don't give a shit whether people think I'm being too hard on you. Fucking suck it up, buttercup. Stop crying on Twitter about how you're getting... People have turned their back on you and people... Nobody owes you a fucking defence. Just be... You know, I don't come here to make friends. If you've come here to make friends... What, so you only defend people? Or you only stick up for people or publicly defend them as long as they do it back for you? Even if you're fucking wrong? Well, well, why should I be surprised that you have no fucking, you know, you have absolutely no intellectual integrity whatsoever? Right? So blow it out your fucking ass, right? If this is the way you react, if this is what you think is a fucking, if this is an argument, it's an argument you didn't need to make that didn't matter, and somehow you managed to fuck up all of it. And all you've done, and the idea, the worst part probably on top of that, or maybe just the other layer of shit, is the fact that you, you, th this argument or this position was one that you thought was going to be, people were going to be, oh, okay. You thought, you, you were shocked that people found this argument objectionable. And it's not, bec and you know what, you could make an argument that said, you know, I don't, I personally don't like, I'm against abortion for you. And you can be honest, say you're against it because of bleh, but that's all it is, isn't it? That's all really it boils down to. It just makes you, cre you're just uncomfortable. You don't like it. But that's it. Don't have one. Let me put it in a language you might understand. You make videos about defending people who are transgender, don't you? You make video defending and you know the transgender community and supporting trans rights. Well, what if I came on a vid made a video and said, "Look, I support equal, you know trans rights, equality for people who are transgender. I'm you know I'm not going to object to that. I think people who are trans, you know, I think equality should be. I don't give a shit what where they take a crap in public." I don't even care which gender they want to represent in any sport they might play. But, you know, but they're not women. I mean, trans women are not women, are they? You know, not really. I mean, I mean, they say that. I mean, but these, are, these people are clearly mentally ill, aren't they? These people have got something wrong with them, you know. Quite, quite evidently, isn't it? I mean, come on, you know. You know. And what if I did that? Would that, would you be okay with, because I'm still support, I'm still saying... I'm not going to stop, you know, I don't object to, you know, them getting all of the uh, quality, but, but I still don't view them as fucking, you know, I still view them in the same shitty way. Or if I said, I'm okay with the Civil Rights Act, affirmative action, racial and social equality, you know, I'm okay with all that. You know, do you know why? Because, but I have to be honest, you know, I don't think black people are as smart as us. I think they need a bit of help because they're not, you see? Do you see how I'm coming to the right conclusion, but for the wrong reason? And if you're telling me that if I made any of those arguments, that you would sit there and go, oh, it's okay, because he doesn't, ha he's, he doesn't want to criminal, he's not, you know, he's, he's not making anything, he's not trying to legislate against it. If you do that, you're a fool. You're a fool and a fucking idiot. Because all you're really doing is letting someone get away with being the same bigot that every other bigot is. But they think they're holding up a shield because they don't object to legal you know, legally recognised equality. Therefore, it's okay. Anyway, 
I hope you've enjoyed this, folks. Um, if you haven't, then tough shit. You've made it this far. You should have probably stopped the video at some point. Um, yes, can, uh, so yes. Yeah, please, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Blah, 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 blah. Um, um, please do not go and harass Mouthy Infidel, because quite clearly he is a whiny little bitch who can't fucking... Who's, can't do, who's blocking everyone left, right and centre. Um, so I don't really care what he thinks. Um, hopefully... You know, you know, if he's got any character, he'll come out of this a better person. I don't know where. I don't care. I didn't hear. I didn't know of him two days ago. I won't know of him tomorrow. But this is Dick Coughlin, brother Neuro. Um, like I said, like, share, subscribe, comment, and please support me on Patreon. Good night, may God be less. And remember, where there's no sense, there's no feeling. Well, at least not for seven to eight weeks. <laughs>